Hello and welcome to MM Design. My name is Maria and today we're going to take a look at the bags and shoes trends for fall winter 2021-2022. Let's get into it. Today we have a sponsor uh, and it's Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for creators. Explore new skills, develop existing passions and get lost in creativity. You can find many classes uh, for any kind of interest. There are classes for productivity uh, to bring out your inner creative self. There's also classes that actually teach you things such as I don't know, draw things, make videos, make content, uh, even some styling classes. A class that I'm particularly very interested in taking myself is Productivity for Creatives. Build your system that brings out your best. That is taught by Thomas Frank. It's curated specifically for learning, meaning there's no ads and they're always launching new premium classes so you can stay focused and follow whatever your creativity takes you. And it's less than $10 a month with an annual subscription. For the first 1,000 people to hit that link down below to get your free trial of Skillshare. This video is part of my full winter trend analysis. All right, you guys, let's get into the subject of the video. And that is... Do, 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 do. Well, I already said it. The shoes and the bags. Let's just start with the bags first and then get into the shoes. For the first kind of trend, I would like to talk about the hobo bags. These are the bags that were really popular in the two Y2K era. I don't like it. I had a bag like this and I when I got it, I didn't even like it. The only reason I got it because well it has the same chains like as a fridge on the bottom i wear it maybe tw two times and then i found it recently and all the leather kind of like crumbled and i was like i had to throw it away kind of that circular motion prada also had that kind of a shape of like a little bit of a circular inside bala also had it and they all even like put it around their heads that was interesting take on it kind of a hood and a chain and a bag in one. We also see a lot of that in a Louis Vuitton. The other thing that we see on these bags, having little like extra compartments on the outside, uh, we all we see that a lot in Balma, and we see a little bit of that in Versace. And um, in Etro, they actually had like little bags attached to the bag. So kind of a bag with multiple little bags. For the clutches, there weren't that many. If there were, there were basically like a clutch that's like foldable and then it becomes like this big thing. Yeah, anyways. Okay, so let's move on to the bigger ones. They're just, yeah, there's still some really huge ones. What are they used? Probably for like night overs, carry-ons. Oh, uh, okay, sure. Maybe it's actually a good idea to have like a bright neon a uh, huge bag whenever you're traveling that way nobody will like even try to steal it because it's so noticeable and Balma has plenty of those just as you're seeing it right now anyway so the next one is kind of the shopper bag or a uh, toad bag we see this a lot once again from Balma from Jill Sanders from of course Christian Dior like they're famous for those bags, right? And also Versace. All right, so the next one is the kind of a structured bag. I, I just love the structured bag. It's classic. It's not, I don't even want to say that it's a trend. It's classic. So that's why you can buy them and not worry about them ever going out of style. Yes, so go ahead. You're seeing all those little structured bags. They're really nice really classic they kind of uplift your outfit when even if you're kind of wearing something simple so maybe just a little something out of the house put on some nice shades and a structured bag and your look is going to be so much put together all right so the next trend kind of attaches both the shoes and the bag strands and its chains we see this maybe third year in a row or even fourth year i don't know uh, that we have 
a big emphasis on chains, whether it's on the necks or whatever bracelets. We see a lot of chains as a strap for the bag or maybe a little detail on it. All right, so the next one is a box bag. So yeah, it, it, it's, it's there. It's kind of like not the bucket bag, but a box bag. Um, yeah, it's, it's kind of somewhat of a structured thing. So yeah, I like it. Next one. Saddle bag. We see a lot of those in a Gucci collaboration with Balenciaga. We also see these uh, bags in Miu Miu. There were some in Elisabetta Frenchy. All right, and now we'll just take a look at some of the little smaller bags. We see a few of the bags around the neck, maybe with, for like a water bottle or a little, I don't know, like a cell phone holder. We also see some of smaller bags on the belts, uh, like a belt bag, which is always fun to have your arms free to use and not worry about your bag. In Gucci collab with Balenciaga as well, having those harnesses with like little bags hanging off. Oh my gosh, love it. I need that harness. I need it need it <laughs> probably i'll have to like sell my liver for it or something <laughs> all right so we see a lot of statement bags um once again let's just continue with the gucci the hearts the like the anatomical heart the, the coolest thing ever i think so yes i do <laughs> scaparelli has a kind of a torso like a breasts bag um it's interesting i'm not sure like would it be censored anytime you're like you know wearing it and taking a photo for instagram do you need to like put some things on the nipples i don't know i don't know louis vuitton had kind of those um uh, like little faces of greek sculptural things it's a little bit weird but i would have never thought if it just stood by itself that it came from louis vuitton another one of my favorites is the moschino bag that's shaped as a shoe oh my gosh <laughs> that's a look from bama in a shape of an airplane all right let's move on to the next trend the bucket bags we have a few bucket bags either like they're a little pouch that kind of ties up uh, or we actually have a few from gucci the ones like kind of like they're pretty big and like yeah anyways furry story so this touches up on both bags and shoes we see such an overwhelming amount of very furry very fluffy very kind of uh, yeah fluffy furry shoes i should find a different word to explain it but we see this in chanel we see humongous amount in blue marine as well as in miu 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 had some crazy just furry legs going on <laughs> angel chen dion lee very very like long fuzziness going on do i like this well well i think this would be very good in a climate where it's very cold maybe it's snowing but it's always cold it's like the snow doesn't melt you know in the weathers where there's more rain i don't see this working out at all whether it's on the shoes or on the bag it's like can you imagine carrying like a wet dog with you all the time and although it's a nice uh play of texture i just don't see it working in the real life i don't want to be a party pooper so let's just kind of maybe move on i do like it but yeah it's not practical there was a study that said that our bags on the bottom are like dirtier than anything else like it has so much dirt and bacteria on that down there because we kind of like put it down in different places like sometimes in the washroom when there's no hooks to hang them up on fringe also we see this on the bags and on the shoes um but yeah once again it's a little bit of kind of the, the fuzzy furry situation where it's not that easy because that, that fringe like in etro they had the fringe going all the way to the floor can you imagine how much dirt it picks up when you're walking around <laughs> okay 
and the same for the shoes it, the, the fringe just go, goes around and it touches everything and it's not going to be so clean we see lots of platforms in Rook Owens like surprise surprise Vivian Westwood had a few heels with those nice platform Prada Basically, all the show was on a platform. I wondered how they didn't twist their ankle on that carpet. Uh, it's, it's a little bit difficult to wear platforms on a carpet, in my opinion. Moschino had a lot of platformed high heels, as well as Versace. All of their shoes were on a very pla big platform with a very chunky heel. Really, really reminded me of the 90s kind of trend, early 2000s. Uh, so yes, if you guys have any platforms in your closet, go ahead, wear them. Yeah, yeah. All right, so the next uh, trend are the cowboy boots. I know we've seen them a few seasons ago, and a year ago, they're back. We see them in private policy, we also see them in Ashish and Isabel Morant, and these are the shoes that you can, in my opinion, that you can wear with a very nice feminine dress, as well as with some more of like an edgy look. I think they're really cool and nice thing to have, and in my opinion, they're kind of classic. I know that they're like a little bit risky but they're classic if you're enjoying this content so far please consider to like this video and subscribe to this channel this will help um, me get onto the youtube algorithm and maybe somebody else will get to see this video thank you all right uh, here is another trend that kind of matches for both the shoes and the bags and it's matching 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 everything to be kind of one pattern or one color so we see a lot of this in the gucci balenciaga combo thing um where they had the same the gucci logo print um throughout the whole entire outfit we also see that in that gucci floral print with balenciaga written all over it with the same print of the entire outfit versace also had that their, their new their new print uh just all over with a bag same on coat same on shoes i i it, it's fun I think, but uh, you can't really wear that outfit all together that often just because it is very memorable and like people will notice that you're kind of repeating your outfits all the time. <laughs> next trend is animal print and again it's for both the shoes and the bags so we see a lot of just simple kind of the print mostly like a texture like a croc texture on the shoes we also see just maybe like a snake skin texture and coloring on the bags and the shoes a mosquito had um kind of a fake print that that was like rimey stony roberto cavalli had very very animal print themed everything so they had zebra uh, what are, what other animals are there? <laughs> so a lot, a lot of different animal prints. We see a lot of loafers out there, whether they're flat or on high heels, mostly high heels. Uh, Max Mara, D Squared, Tory Burch, uh, Dior, uh, even Versace had plenty of those, but they're like on a platform. Loafers are another classical shoes that if you're thinking of getting, why not? It, it will last you a long time. So the next trend, I, w I was, surprised i don't know surprised not okay so pink pink shoes almost every show had a pair of pink shoes is there a story behind it i don't know but msgm had a pair of heel shoes as well as a more like a platform kind of a combat boot not really like a chunky boot with a lighter pink we also see lots of pink on the louis vuitton show they had some strange boots yeah also we see some pink combat boots in Miu Miu show as well as in chanel ballerina strap we see a lot of like kind of straps strappy shoes 
yes that are going on like going around higher onto the leg like a ballerina ribbon things we see this in blue marine we also see this vivian westwood we even see this on kind of more of a gladiator style of a sh of a taller boot for louis vuitton also we just see like that lo lots of stringy situations in d squared and in some other places just kind of having that shoelace moment maybe goes up a little higher onto the boot so we see a lot of kind of chunkier boot combat boot uh from so many shows i love it combat boots are so comfy so nice to wear very practical we see them in valentino sport max and a kiki boss in dior pre-fall collection and so 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 much more Miu Miu, simon rocha like so so many <laughs> balma dior so many combat boots and once again those are the boots that you can style in many different ways you can make like a nice girly dress make it more edgy with a pair of combat boots or you can just have a very edgy look using combat boots whatever maybe even leather pants something else <laughs> too <laughs> anyways yes so my 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 most favorite and comfortable shoe to wear for fall winter all right, so the knee highs. Um, I've heard there was this kind of rumor that very tall boots are going out and knee high boots are coming in red and hot. Yes, we do see a lot of knee high boots. Unfortunately, it's not for everybody because the style is that the boot is a little bit wider fit on the calf and it makes your leg looks slimmer just because it kind of disappears into something wider yeah sure they're cool and they're actually really good for when you're trying to appear slimmer just because when it the knee is one of the skinnier parts of the body and when there is a line there it kind of draws the eye there and it seems skinnier okay so there are also a few of the riders boots the gucci show the calf of the models were wearing some kind of a rider boot and those are also high knee boots so okay moving on to the next one and it's the super tall boots yeah yeah i don't know what sound that was anyways i love super tall boots love them love them love them love them love them not only are they super warm in the winter <laughs> but they're i think they're really sexy and i just really love them so we see both the wider fit of that boot and also the slimmer fit of that boot kind of uh sometimes you can see you don't even see the leg itself it kind of there is an overlap of the boot with a skirt or maybe you can even see a little bit of like a skin break between the boot and the skirt love 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 they make your look legs look very long very nice i like it so and some of the shows even had boots so long that they're probably the pant the pant boots that balenciaga pant knife pant shoes boots and because they did a collab with gucci for gucci's 100th birthday is it a birthday anyways 100 years of being a fashion house we see that knife boot in a gucci monogram um i preferred in one full color just because my eye is drawn to all the imperfections of the monogram not being like symmetrical on the on the seams <laughs> and when you're paying so much money for something like this you want it to be perfect and it's like right at the front like why anyways okay okay that's that's it i'm done next trend are the rain boots and like mm, yeah these are really weird ones Givenchy and stella mccartney had some interesting boots yeah okay 
that's pretty much all I have to say about these. Let's move on to the next one. <laughs> snowshoes. Yes, that's what we need. Nice, nice snowshoes because the mine suck. They, they're not elegant whatsoever. We see a lot of snowshoes in Kenzo, in Dolce & Gabbana, as well as in Miu Miu shows. I really like them. They're very nice, sometimes really bright and colorful, which is very fun, and sometimes even covered in rhinestones, like in Dolce & Gabbana show, which is also interesting. All right, another type of a trend. We see a lot of patent leather shoes so that means like very i don't want to say plasticky but like very shiny leather um and i i really like that leather it is very sexy very sexy and it's not usually like real leather anyways anyways we see this in zimmerman we also see this in dolce gabbana as well as in louis vuitton and Lumarine. Okay, and we've reached the shoes. Kind of there was a transition of things that worked for both. And now let's talk about the V cleavage. This is uh, the best friend of anybody who wants to seem a little taller. So because the shoe is has, it's, it's usually pointier shoes and it has that V cleavage that makes the eye kind of continue and not stop. So reason why I'm not super big fan of the square toe is because it kind of drops the vision of a person and it makes you look just a little bit shorter like it's it's not like a game changer it's like no don't wear it no it's just you can seem taller with the pointier toe shoes especially if it has a v cleavage because it just kind of continues the eye down and there's no obvious stop all right so the next trend is the pointy toe yes i almost see didn't see any square toe shoes I did see a few, but you'll see them at the very end of the video. Although I seem, it may seem like I don't like those shoes. I actually own a pair and they aren't that bad. But like when I see it on myself, they're on that bad. But when I see it on the runways, I just don't like it. Anyways, okay, 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 okay. So pointy shoes, very nice, very good friend of anybody who wants to appear taller as i have mentioned just a very very large amount of people who decided to go for that all right for people who live in a warmer climate we see a lot of thong sandals so that's a sandal that has like a little like like a flip-flop situation basically that's basically the only sandal that i've seen on the runways and of course now 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 here we go here is the square toe moments so we see it in dion lee we also see a square moment in a rock and that's pretty much it like maybe there's a two more shows that they were present in but that's yeah that's pretty much it okay and i just wanted to quickly point out some of the interesting sneaker runners shoes so these are from dolce gabbana uh, they kind of have like a little plastic over top and these are from rock pre-fall collection so kind of like an uglier uglier sneaker be like before the ugly sneaker this one is a lot uglier <laughs> all right you guys so this completes this video hope you enjoyed it once again don't forget to click on that link down below to get your free trial of skillshare maybe comment down below um your favorite type of shoe in an emoji form <laughs> if they exist have a great day and stay classy bye